Okay, we're starting to record here, and now we'll go live out on uh, on uh, Zoom or on Facebook, actually. And there we are. We got it. We're recording. Okay, we got all this going. And uh, do we have people here? Is the question. And we only have a couple of people right now today. See, today I decided to do this uh, this uh, program, the pop up. Uh, in spite of the fact that it's a holiday, you know, it's a holiday weekend, because I just like doing this show. And so we'll just see who the hell shows up and who doesn't show up. Already we have four people waiting. So that's a beginning. That's a beginning. Let me start admitting them all. Okay. It says we're live on Facebook. And uh, there's, oh, wow. Here we go. We got Mandy O'Brien. Uh, we got Edward Berger. Hello, Edward. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And uh, Len LaFrisco and Scott Boddicker. Hello, Scotland. Hey, Alex. How are you? Good. Good. You guys all had a nice uh, holiday. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, uh, give you the greeting as they give it in England. And I don't understand why the difference. But in America, we say Merry Christmas. And in England, they say, Happy Christmas. And look, look at Mandy. She's all gentiled out there with her, uh, with her, her, her uh, Christmas tree. Yeah. You, you take Christmas trees seriously, don't you? Well, why not? I'll leave this sucker up till January 6th. Too. <laughs> I'm a, I'm well, a good Episcopalian. What's the, what's the cutoff date on leaving a tree up? See, I'm, I'm a Jew, so I have no idea about that. You're Come supposed on. to get rid of it on January 6th. Oh, really? The 12th day yeah. of Christmas. That's the yeah. 12th day of Christmas. Oh, I see. Okay. See, I don't know. The Tiffany. Story. See, once yeah. I, my um, every, every Jewish girl, when they get married, the first thing they want is a Christmas tree because they never had them. And, and so my uh, my third wife, uh, what was her name again? A Susan um, said, let's get a Christmas tree. Have you ever seen two Jews try to figure out what to do with a Christmas tree? <laughs> to begin with, we didn't realize how expensive a Christmas tree is. So we thought you just bought the tree and then you suddenly realize it doesn't stand up on its own so you have to get this little thing with the screws that uh, that puts it in uh, you know that gets everything in there uh, gets the trees and then you got to make it even so you got to screw this am i right you've got to oh, so it's, it's a pain in the ass yeah do you know how many, do you know how many trees i've had fall over <laughs> yeah yeah okay don't you wish you were jewish yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then, then we, uh, 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 the next problem was uh, we suddenly realized the tree was looking awfully bare. So, okay, we got to get ornaments. So we're on 14th street and there are a bunch of cheap stores nearby. So we go and buy the cheapest ornaments we can lay our hands on. Okay. And uh, we, um, we lay, uh, lay, Oh, hold on. Hold on. I got to put a lot of people on here. Let's get Vernon Null in here. Let's see here. Joined. Okay. It has all the people that have joined. Oh, there we go. All righty. Anyway, uh, so then you got it. So we went and got some cheap ass ornaments because we figured, hey, we're this is only a one year deal for us. You know, we're not we're not buying for the rest of our lives on this. So we then put all the you know stuff on the tree. Then we figured you got to put something on top of the tree. And we weren't about ready to put a star because, <laughs> you know, unless it was a Jewish star and that didn't seem right either. So I had oh, a, a Jewish? I had a little like doll or something of Bugs Bunny and we put Bugs Bunny on the very top of our tree. And that was our, we didn't know what to do. And then we suddenly realized it was dying on us. And what we needed to do was put water in the bottom. And then somebody told me, well, oh, throw an aspirin in there too. Is that supposedly that's flowers, tree. Alex? Because trees that's get he- I get I guess trees get headaches. You know. <laughs> I never understood that, but we always did it. You always put an aspirin flowers, in there. Right? Cut flowers. I don't think give, it a, give it a Xanax. Or that, that was cool. <laughs> and then and then what happens is the sixth day of January, when you're supposed to get rid of the tree. 
it's there, there are pine needles everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's why you're really not supposed to even put it up till Christmas Eve. I think there was one year when I was a kid that my stepdad, we held out till J Christmas Eve to put it up. And I thought that was the coolest thing. Uh, you know, yeah. until we so, waited. The and weekend then, after yes. Thanksgiving. That's when you yeah. put the tree up. Well, wait a minute. But then don't doesn't the tree start losing its needles while it's standing there? I mean, it just oh, yeah. makes a mess. Yeah. And so we had to go out and buy a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very expensive proposition for us. Hi, Mark. You, know, you can also put an angel on the top. I used to add for the longest time. I yeah. had an angel. Like, yeah, we like always had an top. angel. We didn't care about star. We always put an angel. I love hearing you mm -hmm. Gentiles talk about this. <laughs> Just wonderful, Mark. You're Jewish, right? right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you ever have a tree? Once. Once now, did you do it or did your parents do it to make you feel good? No, uh, not gonna. It was an ex girlfriend. Ah, uh. <laughs> less yeah. said about it, the better. Okay, I have my baby Jesus. Yeah. my little baby Jesus. Is that little oh. baby Jesus? A little no. baby Jesus. It, what, what is the difference between the adult Jesus and the baby Jesus outside of size? <laughs> 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 But like baby Yoda well, I mean, they, they make a big deal out of baby Jesus, but you never see baby Jesus on a crucifix. Well, he wasn't crucified. He was grown up. He was 33. Yeah. yeah. Do you think if Christ knew he was going to wind up getting crucified, he would have said, to hell with it. I'm not going to be the son of God. What? He didn't know. He didn't know. He he knew, yeah, he knew in the Bible he's always saying this is gonna they're gonna do this shit to me. Yeah. This is not gonna end well. <laughs> yeah, he knows it's not gonna end well. <laughs> but he knew he was gonna rise on the third day, right? So what's the big deal? Yeah, it's the yeah, big deal. But I mean, I had a lot of marriages that didn't work out. And if I knew they weren't gonna work out, I would have never gotten married to. Right. <laughs> what, what page is it on, Steve, where it says uh, they're going to do shit to me? I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's the last supper. Yeah? During the last supper. The <laughs> and the Lord saith they're going to do shit to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Boy, what a holiday you guys got. Aren't you happy, right. Mark? We don't have to put up with this stuff. You know? Just we murder, just, we find we menorah just, candles. That's all, you know? We just sit back and, uh, you know, uh, watch movies and order Chinese. Food. Yeah, yeah, that's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> but, did we, did we so, eat all of our Chinese food? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Not all of it. But you didn't like yours this year. It was too, yeah. I read an article that it's been interesting this week about do you know how that started? The Jews and Chinese, Jews food, and Chinese on Christmas? food? Jews and Chinese Somebody food on Christmas. Why? It started with immigrants in the Lower East Side, Jewish immigrants, yeah. who didn't want to eat in Little Italy because of all the Christian iconography, all the, you know, Goyesha paintings in the Italian right. restaurants. <laughs> Plus, a lot of those were closed. The Chinese restaurants were open. Um, the cuisine is similar in, mm -hmm. in a way, right? And, and you could even cheat because all those pork, it's all, you know, there's a lot of minced up pork that they pork put in. It doesn't count in a Chinese restaurant. Uh, right. Didn't count. It doesn't it. count. Now, now, Steve Bender, who's another Jew uh, yes. here, have you ever had a Christmas tree? Never. Never. Was that just on principle? No, I, my parents would have never, ever thought of having a Christmas tree. And then, no, you but know. then you went out on your own, you know. And I mean, I married a very Jewish woman. She spoke perfect Yiddish, all right? And the first <laughs> thing she wanted the year we got married was a Christmas tree. That's, That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, because it, it, it's to me, it's not really the religious part. To me, the Christmas tree is the secular part with Santa Claus and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have some, a few religious decorations, but most of the stuff is what my kids made and like Atlanta Falcons, you know, great. Okay. But what I, what I don't get about the seriousness of your beliefs, okay is that at uh, easter time this is about the crucifixion of your lord right and the iconography for the crucifixion of your lord is an easter bunny with eggs <laughs> where does that where does that come in it's really about the, it's really about the no resurrection idea. right it's about the resurrection not about the crucifixion. Yeah. 
Easter well, I mean, but but the, well, without <laughs> yeah, but without a crucifixion, you're not going to have a resurrection. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, I've always thought Easter was much more important of a Christian, you know, the observance mm -hmm. of a, a religion or a observance of something. Well, you know, religion. Much more important than eat Christmas, or just as, but a lot of people just kind of blow off Easter like it's. You know, well, if he wasn't born, not, there'd be no Easter. Yeah. That's true, but I'm just saying that <laughs> a lot of people just don't treat it like they treat Christmas. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, they celebrate his birth and they celebrate his death, but you don't celebrate things like, oh, I don't know, the first time he got hot for Mary Magdalene. You know. <laughs> Do you think Christ had sex with Mary Magdalene? There's, there's supposedly some, um, you know, missing right. books possible, that yeah. were written that yeah. were, they're thinking that he was actually married. Well, that, was the, that was the whole big controversy when Scorsese made The Last Temptation of Christ. I love I mean, that film, by the way. A great film, right? Because I, felt, I felt it made Christ very accessible to me as a right. kid. Well, that was the thing, though. If he's embodied as a man, does he have manly desires? And if they, at the last moment on the cross, he has a choice of either leaving the cross and leading a life or staying there. So he chooses to leave the cross. And this is what would happen if he left the cross and continued to live his life and just die as a normal man. Um, I, I thought remember, that, hmm? it's great. I remember when I saw it in theaters, they had nuns and priests trying to pull us off the line, telling us, you know, not to see the movie, which of course made you really want to see it. Well, I thought that what it did, I, I thought it wasn't uh, anti-Christ. It was actually something that made Christ very accessible to me. At the end of the film, I think he chooses to go back on the cross, right? Yeah. 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 And Scorsese and Schrader are both lapsed priests, right? They, you know, they both, you know, are very, they're very religious. They're very, yeah, they were brought up Catholics. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I love that film. It's a good film. Yeah. Uh, Shecky isn't here again today because he's out on a cruise ship somewhere getting COVID. Yeah, there, there have been a lot of ships. That have, you know what ship he's on, Alex? He's on some little ship with 200 people. Oh, because okay. there have been a lot of ships that have a lot been of ships. I know. Port. The Royal Caribbean uh, got hit with it big time. And now they have to wear masks all the time on a cruise. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and, 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 do you, and do you know who else became exposed perhaps to COVID? Yeah. You're looking at her. She's on this panel. Uh oh. Marjorie, wow. what did you do? And her name is my wife. <laughs> Actually, my wife as well. She just called me and said five people at her work have come down. She works at a place that's only 15 or 20 people. So, not good. I think in a couple of months, saying I have COVID is going to be like saying I had a bad cold. Everyone's going to just have had it. My yeah, well, they, sister they, got it. They, they, they Even we're positive, we, we do not have it, Alex. Well, what happened was is that she had to go. She want, had to go to work last Tuesday, and I said, "Well, why do you have to go?" Because her her the guy who leads her office, who heads up her office, no, said, nobody come, come in come anymore, in so we could close the books. But you had to talk, meet with the accountant so you could close face the books. Face. So yeah. you met with him face to face. Let's get that through face to face. And then on half hours. And what happens on Thursday? I got an email. <laughs> and what did the emails say? He tested positive for COVID. <laughs> So we've been staying inside since Thursday. We've been ma waiting for, for the effects of it. And all I've got is sniffles all the time. And that's, that's not different for me during the winter. Well, I have allergies. Yeah, but I've been you, you got, Have you both had your boosters? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. our boosters in August. Yeah. We actually had our boosters. My sister got it. My sister got it from her daughter who works in the restaurant industry. So they were both out for Christmas. So I didn't get to see her. She, oh, okay. And she's she's double vaccinated, but she was supposed to get her booster next week. She's actually been really sick, like fever, oh, wow. nausea, fatigue, you know, like. Uh, yeah. The whole thing. Well, the thing, is, the thing is that uh, we had a we had a booster plus because the Moderna, they only give you half a boost to have a shot. And At the time we got ours, they hadn't decided whether it was worth half a shot or a full shot. So we got a full shot. So we're glowing in the dark now. <laughs> I am a, I am amazed that you cannot get a test in this damn city without waiting online for three hours. 
And then you got to wait. Then you got to wait three days for the results. Three three to five days. Mm -hmm. And by that time, you could have caught it. It's unbelievable. And there are no tests. Well, our home kits are arriving tomorrow. Really? I I couldn't find any in any stores or on Amazon. Go to Walmart's. Okay. Online to Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. And Amazon, the the delivery date is the first week in January. Right. It's like January 7th. (laughs) That's ridiculous. Well, I decided when we get when we get the tests, there are enough for four tests. And and uh, what I'm gonna do is just have her do one and I won't do one. Because if she doesn't have an I don't have it's so afraid, Alex. No, you do it. You're the one you're the one one that says we don't have it. Hmm? You're the one that checks your temperature every 10 minutes. No, I don't. It's every 20 minutes. Come on. (laughs) If you're not going out though, what difference does it make whether you have it or not? (laughs) Now wait a minute. I want to ask Mark Thorner, what is all that stuff? Where are you sitting? What is that? I went to Galaxy's Edge at Disney, Alex. What? Oh, it's walking into Star Wars for real. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. I mean, you're there now. No, I'm not. I just I was clicking the, the mad background. demon with the camera. Oh, I but, see. Yes, I just throw it at, threw it as a background. And that's all. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Cool. And, and you're using the zoom background thing to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. the zoom it's background better, thing it's usually better than seeing my kitchen. Okay, so the zoom background thing usually doesn't look terrific because it, it it doesn't completely separate people. Yeah. But you look very good. It looks very good with you. So, you know, I just wanted to know because it looked like it looked very futuristic. And I, you know, yeah, yeah. Can I say something? No, no, go I ahead. Give a shout out to Vernon. His birthday was this week. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy happy birthday, birthday Vernon. When was your birthday, Vernon? It's not what? until January 15th. Oh. <laughs> you couldn't wait till next week's show? <laughs> <laughs> it's January 15th. I got two more weeks. Yeah, I mean, my birthday's before you. I'm <laughs> Sunday. Listen, I didn't even know it was Vernon's birthday. How do you know, Marjorie? I noticed, and I said something back to us. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, she's, I bet she's I peeing notice. her pants now. Did she I pees her pants when she laughs that much. You just don't understand. <laughs> Happy birthday, Vernon. <laughs> Happy <laughs> what? Thank you. I yeah. sent it back. I got a notice that it was his birthday, and I sent it back from both of us. <laughs> oh, oh. Did, did you get it from Facebook or something like that? Because I got about 400 birthday greetings on my birthday. And I wow. wish I could feel good about that. But I know that it's from people who just got a thing saying, it's Alex Bennett's birthday, wish him a happy birthday. And they <laughs> click it. And there's another one. And it's not sincere. The only ones that were sincere were the people that went out of their way to do it separately. You know, because it all comes as one thread. But they're still taking the time to do it. They could just ignore Really I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, I should. I should appreciate that, Mandy. But it is only a click, you know. It's not, like, it's not like somebody had it come up on the computer saying it's Alex Bennett's birthday, you know, like I have for you know my friends, and uh, like that's why I was two days late wishing Shecky a happy birthday. This year. <laughs> I didn't see it come up. But uh, anyway, uh, what is that? on? Is that a, a thing on your hand there, Vernon? What is that? That's a, that's a compression glove. I, I just wanted to say, I probably didn't see your response back because I haven't been on Facebook in five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another part of it that you screwed up on, Marjorie. I mean, you could have, I have Vernon's uh, email address, you know. <laughs> And, and Marjorie, I'm still waiting for you to accept my friend request, which I sent like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it personally. I'm taking it personally at this point. I'm going to look for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I keep having to send her letters and messages from our lawyer because even though she gets them, she accidentally erases them. You know? oh. She's not very good at using uh, communication on the computer. Or it goes into the spam folder. Hmm? Or it goes into the spam folder. Yeah, exactly. 
And how are you, Scott Boddicker? Did you have a now you're a, you're a uh, you're a uh, practicing Catholic, right? Yes, sir. And you're going to keep practicing till you get it right. right. Until I get it right. Yeah. Absolutely. So what did you do for the holiday? Did you go to mass on on Christmas Eve? Not Sunday. Sunday. Or Saturday. Excuse me. Saturday. Yeah. Oh, so you went during Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah okay. So, but, but uh, No, we just uh, sat around and we just finished the eight Harry Potter movies before my daughter took back off to Charlotte. So All eight Harry Potter movies? Yeah. Yep. Is that how much you really hate yourself? And <laughs> they're fascinating. They're fascinating. They are. They're good. I just kind of got tired of them, you know. Um, but uh, uh, yes, you can watch all of them. They're on. Uh, what are they on? They're on uh, HBO Max. HBO Max. Yeah, all of them. Because oh, actually have the DVDs. Yeah. 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 You know what? I just downloaded. Is anybody watching this 1883 on Paramount Plus? Isn't it good? I like it. It's 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 okay. It's little yeah. Little uh, I'm long. I'm really liking it. How, but you I say you saw it, Charlie? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm, I'm I have Paramount Plus. I just haven't seen it, it. It's very. I think it's very good. But then again, I never saw. We never watched Yosemite, which this is the prequel to. No, Yellowstone. 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 Excuse me. <laughs> What did I say? Alex, what's the other one? Yosemite, close. close. You know. (laughs) Alex, what's the other one? Landscapers? Oh, Landscapers. That's really great. It's incredible. This is a show about uh, a true story about uh, two uh, men and women. Elderly, elderly. Who are finally, who finally are accused of murder after 15 years. Because they didn't find the body for 15 years because they buried them in the backyard. And it stars uh, Olivia Coleman. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, Coleman. Coleman. And uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 um I'm trying to remember the guy's first name. Very good. Very good performances. And a very good, st- very uh, in- good story. So, what's you- it on? It's on uh, HBO Plus, uh, oh, HBO Max, Max. HP, HBO anything else but old HBO. HBO. You guys watched that. Don't look up. Yes, uh, I watched yes. that. That was great. I yeah, it. I liked it. I liked it. I it ended the way it should have ended. Yeah, and I'm not I, I I'm not going to spoil it for people, but you can pretty much guess from the beginning. Yeah. And the, and the little extra ending was even better. Yeah. 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 You got to wait till the end of the credits for yes. uh, to yeah. see the extra ending. Yeah. But I, th- yeah, that was a good little, it was good. Yeah. Good, good little, uh, little film. As an astronomer, I really appreciated that movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's exactly what would happen. Yeah. If, if a bunch mm-hmm. of guys, uh, somebody came, you know, from a, somewhere, some scientists and said, we just discovered there's this comet that's, heading towards earth and is going to hit it within six months or something like that, or two years, or I can't remember the amount of time. They said six months. It was six months. And, and nobody is, everybody's listening to them, but nobody's acting on it. Yeah. You know, when they could act on it and probably demolish the, uh, the comet. Uh, And uh, it's, it's just very realistic in how we would react to it. Sit back and assess. That's what <laughs> sit back and yeah. assess. That was the whole. It's just more it's like comedic than I thought it would be. Like it yeah. was. Like well, it's a, supposed to be a comedy. Yeah. It's to yeah. Be a comedy. I, I didn't realize. I thought it was just like it was going to be like a thriller, like you know, an action thriller. No. no. Like, that was the best like, part. The com- com- comedic parts. That was just great. Well, yeah. Like, uh, what's the actor's name that played the president's son, the chief of staff, who's oh, basically supposed to, be like, oh, supposed to be like Donald Trump Jr. In my opinion. Yeah. They yeah. even made him a cokehead. <laughs> so I was like, "That's like brilliant, right there." It's got a, it's got a, a huge cast in it. Yeah, it's just I incredible mean, cast. got the Leonardo DiCaprio and Meryl Streep, and uh, as the Jennifer president, Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Who she else? Great. Yeah, Jonah Hill, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, Jonah Hill. That's who plays Jonah Hill. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the same. Jonah Hill's going to be playing Jerry Garcia. Oh, is he really? Wow. Biofilm that Martin Scorsese is making. 
a wild oh, really? Jerry Garcia. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's uh, he's doing all he's that doing. Out? That's not for a couple of years, two years at least. Uh, uh, yeah, well, she always says, things. "When's that coming?" She always says to me, "When's the new uh, Ricky Gervais show going to be coming out?" That's soon, right? And I go, "That's on Netflix." I said, "Netscape." <laughs> no, 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 no. He said the Netscape. No, no, that was my joke. <laughs> that was my joke, me saying the Netscape. Okay. You did uh, say it. One thing I was going to do this holiday was I was going to go to the theater and watch Spider Man, mm -hmm. but I did not do it. Don't. Has anybody seen that? Yeah, don't. Has anybody go see it because y'all are afraid of COVID. I know. Um, I'm not going to the theater. I'm not right. That's what I was thinking. Let like, alone this. Uh, let alone. I'm not going to look. If I'm going to get COVID, not going to be for Spider. <laughs> uh, it better be for a good. It better be for a good porno film. You know, I mean, <laughs> but not uh, not uh, the new Spider-Man film. I'm sorry. What about uh, James Bond? Have I seen the new James Bond? Yeah, oh, yeah, we watched it. it. It's terrible. I don't think it's good. Did you? Yeah. Anybody? I thought it was I okay. haven't seen it yet. Yeah. I mean, it just, I, I just uh, felt it was, uh, for the most part, boring. Uh, well, it's like two and a half hours long. It's like, yes. Well, so is Don't Look Up. Don't Look Up is long, too. But you know what I was oh, saying? Oh, I didn't don't feel like it. Yeah, but long. what I was saying to Marjorie, and this is true. Well, we were in the comfort of our own home. <laughs> yes, you're in the comfort of your own home, so they can make longer movies mm -hmm. because they're easier to sit through because you can put them on pause, go oh, take yeah. a leak. Yeah. Uh, have a have a maybe have dinner come back to it you know whatever right. so they feel they i think have the luxury of making pictures longer than a normal film theatrical release hell i hour and 45 minutes that's my max yeah. and I, agree. Mm -hmm. I agree i agree i am thinking of going to the well, movie theater the ricardo's was good what oh, is it? Yeah. Being a, i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah oh we'll get to that in a second what were we going to say steve I say I'm thinking of going to the movie theater tomorrow because I really want to see Licorice Pizza, but there's a showing at 9 a.m. at Union Square, and I can't imagine anyone's going to be there. Oh, you'll be the only one. <laughs> well, yeah. you know who's going to be there? Everybody else who thought nobody else would be there. <laughs> no one's going to be there at 9 a.m. <laughs> huh? You, you think people will be in the movie theater at 9 a.m.? Well, I'll we'll tell you, we'll meet you there. <laughs> we'll meet you there. Uh, why do you want to see licorice pizza? I mean, you're willing to die because you watch licorice pizza. I don't, I don't think it will kill me, but, um, I don't know. I mean, I like Paul Thomas Anderson movies. I've heard. Yeah, no, they're very good. Them. They're I've very good things about it. I don't, yeah. I, you know, I don't, it's weird. I mean, the spread of this virus, I mean, I've had, I have tickets for 11 events in January. The 11th was just canceled. I just got the email today. Oh. Everything's been canceled. Wow. Wow. I've been wanting, I've been oh. wanting to see, uh, 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 what do you call it? West side story. Yeah. yeah. I'll wait till it comes out. I'll have to wait till it comes out on television. Yeah, me too. I mean, I've heard it's very pleasant, but I can't really hold a candle to the original. Why yeah, I mean? hear it's better than the original. I hear that it, 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 I didn't like the original. I thought the original was oh. uh, it, good, great music, you know, great idea for a story and all of that. But I felt that I couldn't buy Natalie Wood as Puerto Rican. No. Okay. I don't care if she was Puerto Rican or not. Yeah, I agree with Charlie. <laughs> I'm with Charlie. Yeah. I love Natalie. I well, love I Natalie. love Natalie Wood too. I mean, she was my first erection in a movie theater. <laughs> you know, I suddenly realized, oh, I've become a man. You know, I mean, <laughs> that was your movie bar mitzvah. Huh? No, it was it was <laughs> Rebel Without a Cause, and I thought she was just about. She set the the. Yep. In my life, she set my, um, the what's the word I'm looking for? Set my standard for the kind of woman that turned yeah. me on, you know? And, you know, she was Russian. Uh, she, she just had these looks, you know, she was beautiful. She was gorgeous. And she stayed gorgeous, by yeah. the way. You know, so. Until, uh, you know, what's his name? Drowned her. Christopher Walker. I cried for a week when she died. Seriously, I was. I, so I felt bad. horrible. I felt yeah. horrible. You know, uh, I think the worst. I, I I remember when I got my first uh, word of the uh, of 
how can I put it? The first woman I had die in my life who I'd had sex with. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but that's kind that of be weird. Yeah. That's kind of a passage of sorts. You know, we're waiting, oh, to, hear all, Alex. Huh? We're waiting to hear. <laughs> what it wasn't Natalie think? Wood, was it? <laughs> oh no, no. This was <laughs> this was actually a girl I knew since I was nine years old. Wow. And and then we met later on in life, and she was married, and she I and I just she was so hot, it was unbelievable. And uh, all of a sudden, my dreams came true, and we had you know, sex, and she was terrible. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, the first time we tried, I couldn't get it up because, you know, I've been waiting for this forever. I mean, since I was nine years old, crying out loud. And now, then finally, we go on, a, we do it again, because I gave the excuse about this has never happened to me before. Uh -huh. And truthfully, it never had. And uh, we had sex, and, and she was terrible. <laughs> terrible um and what it was and i always describe this great story is the problem was is when we had sex she kept going uh, 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 uh. that's an easy way to lose an erection yeah. okay really and uh, she was just terrible but but uh, we had done it, and, and so when she died, I didn't think about hey, you know, the worst lay I ever had was you know, died. I thought this is the first woman I'd ever had sex with who's died, uh, and uh, now there's several of them, you know. But uh, back uh, now, now you're the obituary. <laughs> what 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 are you eating, Marjorie? Are those the potato it's chips? Needed. Those are the potato chips. What would you, just to turn on your audio? Let's hear you crunch. <laughs> <laughs> let's all get popcorn. Do you know how many bags of these potato chips we buy? These what are. What kind are they? I love potato chips. Are, are, are well, these are. Give me the, the recommendation. Uh, 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 Leonard's. They Sue make Leonard. them here at the school. <laughs> And, and they sell them at Costco. Here's no, the bag. No, Stu Leonard's is a Here store. And what oh. happened was is we, Marjorie had this friend who'd take us up to Stu Leonard's all the time so they could shop. And we got into these potato chips. And then her friend stopped going up to Stu Leonard's. But we found out through Instacart we can order from Stu Leonard's. So now she orders five bags of potato chips every time she orders up. And I don't sticks. blame her. I do the same thing. Huh? What? I would do the same thing if I could. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe if you have Instacart in your area, maybe you can tell them you want them to get you some chips from Stu Leonard's and have them drive all the way up to. they're not in, in Atlanta. They're only in Par Paramus and Norwalk and Farmingdale and Danbury and Yonkers. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The one in Yonkers is the first one. It's so, the sorry, that's kind of out of my area. For those of you who don't <laughs> live here, uh, Stu Leonard's is, is, how many have been to Stu Leonard's? Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. Right. It's like a path you go. You have to go. There's this path you go through, and uh, you you go down the path and buy food as you go along. And uh, if they really want to sell you something, there about three times on this path the same thing is is available. You know, and we got these what breakfast sausages we love. She's not, she, we can't hear her because she doesn't want her crunching to be heard. And look, have, uh, look at the size of those potato chips, too. Those look, they look like homemade. Them. Yeah, they're homemade. Yeah. They're homemade. Yeah. Or store, store made there, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, Len LaFrisco, what did you do for Christmas? Went over to my favorite Jewish friend's house. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Is that a new thing for Christians to visit Jews on? Yeah. on... <laughs> I give him such a bad time about that. But yeah, we just, you know, they're very close friends of the people we went to Mexico with. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're kind of in our bubble. And we just went over there and had a nice prime rib dinner. It was nice. Well, let me see if I can engage Edward Berger in discussion. That's right. <laughs> uh, what did you do for Christmas, Edward? 
Nothing much because Christmas is just another day. Being Jewish, we never really celebrate it. <laughs> Except when we were real small. And then other than that, we just, you know. Did, uh, now you, you're Jewish, and your right. parents, your parents, did they celebrate Christmas to keep you happy so that you didn't? Oh, well, uh, just when we were a little small, they gave they gave us presents, but uh, later on, we just didn't do nothing. Yeah, my parents gave me presents every year. Right. Yeah, because and my birthday was a week beforehand, so I got a lot of presents then. Good, good, good. Huh? Good, good. I said. Yeah, and then <laughs> then they then Christmas came along. And they gave me presents. Uh, and the reason they did, we lived on the West Coast. And there wasn't a large amount of Jews out on the West Coast at that time. Uh, and uh, they felt that, you know, all the other kids were having Christmas. So I should have it, too. You know, and uh, it wasn't a matter of celebrating Christmas as much as getting the presents, which I, as the only child in the family, loved because all the presents they would have bought for a whole bunch of kids they bought for me. <laughs> did, did you get Hanukkah presents as well? Uh, no. Uh -huh. no. But, you know, you know, the eight days of presents can get kind of boring, especially when they are things like grapefruits. <laughs> and, oh, here's a fig on the second day of uh, Passover. And the last day of Passover, you get a good gift. No, Hanukkah, not Passover. Uh, Hanukkah. You know, I remember my sisters and I saying, OK, look, just save, just give us one good thing instead of eight shitty ones. Yeah. yeah, but I, I I don't know. I don't mind eight shitty ones. Yeah, you know, uh, I bought a pair of socks one night. A pair of socks? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Just break it out for eight days. Mm, clean underpants would be nice too. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so um, uh, and and New Year's, you guys gonna do a New Year's thing at all? That's amateur night. I hate going out on New Year. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Times Square, Alex. <laughs> Stupid mayor. One, one of the lucky, one of the lucky fifteen thousand. Exactly. Have you heard what our governor, what our mayor is doing here? He's he, running for governor. He wants to create a super spreader event. Yeah. Okay. So he said you have to have a vac. You have to have your vaccination cards. Okay. Fine. And we're only letting 15,000 in. What? 15,000? Oh, there's no chance of getting COVID that way. Why didn't he just cancel the whole damn thing? Or say, we're going to do it, but nobody show up, watch it on TV. Because he's out of office. The he's out of office the next day. He doesn't give a shit. I, he's, out of, yeah, he's out of office the, literally the next day. Literally, yeah. He yeah. doesn't care. Throw it in Eric Adams' lap. He doesn't care. <laughs> and then we got a black, uh, a black uh, mayor, so we're going to be up to our ass in Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a we had a friend over. We do you realize we had a black friend over to our place yesterday for Kwanzaa? Really? Yesterday was what was it? Sunday was Kwanzaa. Excuse me, on oh, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Sunday was Kwanzaa. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, that was it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, what are you doing for New Year's, Mandy? Um, I don't know. My mom <laughs> just asked me that today. I'm like, that's it's the worst thing to ask a single person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst holidays. <laughs> You're either, you know, stuck at somewhere where everybody's all paired up. And you get to see everybody kiss at midnight or you're by yourself. Which is fine if I'm by myself. I don't care. I've had a couple of my friends go, what are you doing? You want to come hang? I'm like, sure, I'll be there. I, I think we should all get on here at uh, midnight. Now, there's an idea. <laughs> That's a, so uh, help yeah. me out. I'll probably be asleep by then. <laughs> maybe That's I, true. I think last know, year I just went to bed. Maybe we could do that. Well, the get together. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Now, now the question is, we're gonna have to make it midnight my time because yeah. I'm not making it midnight. Yeah. Well, there's nobody here from California right now. I, I am, but I'll be up till nine. I'll be up till nine or nine thirty. Oh, okay, but we'll have to do it midnight. I'll do it at midnight uh, on. Uh, we'll, and we'll do it on Facebook. We'll do it like we do this. That would be amazing. Okay. And Even if it's just a short one, just to you know, wish everybody a happy. Year. What we'll do is we'll start at eleven thirty our time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll do a countdown. Okay. 
Can I say Happy New Year to everybody? Because I'll definitely be asleep by then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might get a I'll wake you up for an hour. You know, Marjorie, every year on on New Year's, uh, you have stayed up till midnight and then gone to sleep. Yeah. You know? Uh, you could stay awake for this one. I'll see. You know? Uh, but we're not having anybody over. We're not having, we usually had a party and things like that, but. It's been you know. years, Alex, since we had a party. <laughs> well, no, it's not been years. It's only been about two years. That's Thanksgiving you're talking about. No, I'm talking about New Year's. No, we, that's in fact time. We had New Year's a couple of years, about we two years ago. Not. Yes, we did. <laughs> All right, kids. <laughs> I remember that's the night you fell asleep at nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> You want me to wake you up for New Year's? You want me to no. do that? <laughs> no. I'll say Happy New Year to everybody now. Well, that's nice, but it would be nice if you stayed up and said Happy New Year to them then. No way, Jose. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to watch the movie and go to bed with my body. So How many could be here. here on New Year's? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, just put it down on your calendar. Edward, can you be here at New Year's? Well, my my niece is coming over. I don't know whether she'll let me do it or not. So, <laughs> you know, I have to ask her permission. Otherwise, you know, it's no good. What are you, niece whipped? No, <laughs> kind of, yeah. I, mean, I was there last year, remember? What do you mean? Did I, I do there, you did it last year. Did I do it last year? I did it last year yeah. on Jabnet. And, and you did, yeah. the, oh, well, whatever, you know. Well, no, you, did, just... you, did, you, did, you did it the year before, too. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. It's, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it on on uh, YouTube this year. I'll just do oh, it on okay. Facebook. It's yeah, easy okay. for me to do it on Facebook. Okay. You know. Um, yeah. Sure. I. You know. It sounds good to me. Uh, I mean, I, 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 because these you're my friends. You know. I like. You're on my, I've added you to my calendar, so there you go. You got it down on your calendar. You got it on your calendar, Mandy and Scott. And okay, write it down. Uh, Vernon, yeah, are so you up for it? Vernon? Talking. You're up for what it. Time Good. Are we talking? We're talking about eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Uh, do it okay. eleven eleven thirty, and then we'll that'll let us bring in midnight. Yeah. Okay. You know, and I, I even I, if I end up getting talked into going somewhere, I'll be on my phone. Yeah, my, my problem is, my problem is, is that uh, the year, one year when I did it, I played Old Lang Syne by Guy Lombardo and YouTube demonetized me because it was copyrighted music. Oh, my God. I'm going, I didn't know that Old Lang Syne is in copyright. Huh? It's been around forever. It's got to be out of copyright by well, now. Well, I think it was because I used Guy Lombardo's version, but you can uh, use it. I'm going to go find a generic version. I think I've got it somewhere here where I can play a generic version of it. But I just went, come on, Guy Lombardo's old Lang Syne. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, just leave me alone with this crap. Yeah. Um, the work was published on January 1st, 1926, and is in the public domain worldwide because the author died 100 years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. But but the thing is, with, when you play Guy Lombardo's version, maybe, maybe that's it. Then you get into copyright infringement because it's Guy Lombardo. Now, does anybody here know who Guy Lombardo was? Am I... Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. Royal Cana the Royal Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, my dad loved that. Crap. Mandy never heard of Guy Lombardo, have you, my, Mandy? I have. I totally have. Oh, you <laughs> totally have. Okay. Well, you know, I'm just thinking I, he used. Uh, uh, yes, Mark. He also had that theater out in Jones uh, Beach. Jones yes. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they used to do Broadway shows way back out there. And yep. he had his boat and his barge, and he would take people to his club next door. Um, I, I also saw a bunch of really great concerts out there over the years. Really, but Jones oh, Beach yeah. doesn't do much of anything anymore, do they? Well, yes, they do. Yes, they, they do? still have they still have concerts in the summer. Oh, good. really? Big, big concerts. Not they right. made they made the stadium much bigger. It's too big. 
Oh, really? I, I, you know, I've never been to Jones Beach Beach for a concert. How it's do a great you... place to see a show if it's a nice day. I mean, you, you're <laughs> weather dependent, obviously, but the sound is amazing, and you're looking out on the water. It's incredible. It's a great. Does place the Long Island out. Railroad go out there? That's the problem. It's hard to get to. You've got to kind of take a train and a bus, or a train and a cab, or it's get someone in a car. Go there. There used to be a bus, you take the train, and then a bus would go right to the concert, and they stopped that bus line for some reason. So it's a pain in the ass. What exciting is going on in Kentucky, uh, Vernon? Not much of anything. Oh, really? Nothing exciting <laughs> happening in, in Kentucky? No, I mean, we had, a, we had a nice Christmas. Our son came home with a girlfriend, but she's from Canada, so we had yeah. the time yeah, but here. He was here until the 23rd, and then they drove up to Canada to be with her mm -hmm. folks. But you're, you're here to tell me that nothing happens in Kentucky. If it does, I don't know about it. How about tornadoes? Well, that's that's kind of died down. That's not in the news much anymore. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's just there's a bloody swath of nothing for about 140 yeah. miles or something. Um, yeah, it, was, it was on the ground for 225 miles, according hmm. to the last government. It's unheard of for a tornado. Yeah. Wow. We actually had two supercells that went through the state. The first one destroyed the candle factory in Mayfield and then tore up a bunch of other smaller towns. The second supercell was further south, about 40 miles further south. And that's what hit Bowling Green and killed a bunch of people there. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. It's, you know, everybody, but you know, you know what you got is everybody, whenever there's a tragedy near you, it, you get calls saying, are you okay? And you go, well, that was 200 miles away. But nobody knows that. All they hear is Kentucky, and they think yeah. Vernon right. lives in Kentucky. Well, right. exactly. I, I got an email from Phil Meyer saying, hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Because he knows I live in Kentucky. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I get that. I get, I've gotten that all the time. When there was, but like when, my tra when the earthquake hit San Francisco, I got stuff saying, you know, are you okay? Calls, and things like that. You know, these people worry about you, you know. Um, but, uh, and, and, uh, what, what, let me see here, Charlie Wallace. Yep. You are the keeper of the death count. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's, uh, it's been bad. It's, it's, you know, we're, we're averaging over 200,000 new cases a day now. Jesus. Wow. Well, I heard one doctor say that that's not a good, uh, metric anymore because, the Omicron is not nearly as deadly, and you don't you don't hospitalize as many people with Omicron as you used to with Delta. So he's really it's saying cool. that the number of new cases is not a good metric. It used to be you take the number of new cases, and then when it starts plateauing, you know, two weeks later you you see the number of hospitalizations start to go down, and then a few weeks after that, the number of deaths would start going down. That's not the way it's happening now. Suppose but we're still. 1,500 deaths a day. Yeah. It, 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 how many people who have been triple vaccinated have died? I think one. Uh, I think one. one. It was one. I think one. Oh, seriously, one? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing if you think yeah. about it. You know, uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, in fact, I saw a guy on TV today, a doctor, who said in his hospital, 90% of the people who die are people who are unvaccinated. Yeah. yeah. And the rest of the them mm. are people who have only had two shots yeah. so far, one or two shots. Um, so that's, you know, what we, what we see is the vaccine does work, you know, and, uh, but still, nevertheless, you know, you, uh, you know, you, you worry about it. And I was worried when she told me what happened with her accountant, I'm going, you know, I mean, uh, I'm not kissing you good night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely doesn't keep you from getting it, like my sister. But um, she got her vaccination, I think, in April of last year or April of this year. Yeah. Anyway. But she, I mean, she was pretty sick all week, you know, just like, you know, fever, headache, fatigue. Yeah, but she, she only had two shots, right? 
Right. She was supposed to get a booster, but I'm just thinking. And and also, I guess you know, if she had been vaccinated, she could be in the hospital right now. Yeah, but you, you know, also you know. don't know whether she was, uh, uh, whether it was Delta or whether it was Omicron. From what I've read, which, you know, I don't know what I'm reading, what I'm reading was like on NPR website. They said the the doctors there were saying that the Omicron is like those symptoms, like the ones from last year, like fatigue, you know, the cough, the sore throat. Supposedly you don't get a cough. The aches and the fever, you know. I think Omicron, what I read is it doesn't contain a cough. It's actually more, oh, really? it's more the fever, the headachey, the, you know, mm-hmm. the malaise oh, okay. and so on. It's much more mild. Uh, mm-hmm. And, um, but nevertheless, who wants to get it? You know? I know. And that's the thing I've been max, masking up. I, I had already been doing it like through, starting with the Christmas season, you know, going out in crowds and stuff. I would started masking up again because because i'm like who wants to even be sick you know? i've hardly yeah. gone out i've hardly gone out you know as long as you, as long as you don't want to get it because you don't want to be sick the same way you don't want to get the flu i mean that's you right. know it's okay i mean I, Fauci was on tv the other day and he said you don't get the vaccination because you so you won't get it you get the vaccination so you yeah. won't die from it yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. But, you don't want to get it well we used to think it was time. because you don't want to get it right now it's because you don't want to die no, no one wants right. to get it, but we'll live if we get it, if we're vaccinated and boosted. Well, here's my question, though. Right. So they have these statistics, and Charlie's, of course, in charge of the statistics for the entire United States, as we all know. <laughs> and, and I asked Marjorie this yesterday. Let's say she got the COVID from her uh, guy, her accountant. So now we come down with it, we're sneezing, and we're you know, coughing, and we're whatever for a couple of days and lying in bed, not feeling well. And finally we, it passes and we're over it. How do they make us a statistic? We never went to the hospital. We never, you know, took a test to see if we had it or we didn't have it. We just got it. We how not. do they know we, we got it? They don't. They don't. And how many people fall in that category? Exactly. When we talk about, you know, how many million have had it so far, Charlie? Over 52 million. Okay. How do we know it's not 60 million, 70 million? It has to be. It has to be. How many people are walking around with no symptoms who have it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And didn't go get tested. Right. And my sister insisted on going to get tested. She insisted on going to get tested. Well, she and the thing is, like y'all were talking about the testing being hard. She did take a, a at home test and it was negative. She took it earlier on in the week. Yeah. Negative, but she said the control line at the bottom was really faint. So she was thinking, I bet you I really do. And then she was so sick, I was like, Why are you trying to knock yourself out to go get tested? You know you probably have it. Her daughter tested positive and she had been around. There was no need to go get and, tested. She, but she was insistent on it. She wanted to know for sure that that's what she had. And mm-hmm. her son got tested too. And thankfully he was negative. So he went and stayed with his dad. Well, you know something? Actually, your sister is perhaps lucky. Okay. Is that your sister you say has it? Yeah, my yeah. sister. Okay. She's lucky because now if she's had the two shots or the three shots, yeah. she is almost completely immune to yeah. the disease. Because that, including including the antibodies you get from having it, uh, yeah. puts you in a pretty good category, you know. Yeah. The antibodies don't last that long, though. They're saying now. Well, it doesn't matter. But right now, right now, yeah, yeah, she will yeah. have a real heavy protection against. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of I'm people. I'm thinking she won't. She won't be able to get boosted now, right? Anytime soon, because she's had it. No, I think she can get no. boosted. I think she can get boosted tomorrow. It doesn't because matter. Because she has a negative test, she can get boosted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, she's she's definitely been really sick. And I just had lunch with my mom and my brother today. And my mom was joking. She said, well, because I said, wow, she could be in the hospital or something if she hadn't been vaccinated. My mom goes, well, you know, your sister is a drama queen. (laughs) Are you trying to say that she's really not that sick? I mean, I think she was really, she had fever and stuff. So she really was. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, but, um, I, you know, I, I just, we, I've just been waiting every day to come down with it. I feel like I'm coming down with it right now. How do you like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
But Marjorie doesn't believe me, do you? I better get off the call. I don't really want to. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having like phantom symptoms or something? You, you know, yeah. like, oh, my throat's yeah. scratchy. You're like, ugh. Mark, how's it in Florida? It's gotten it's gotten pretty bad down in Florida, hasn't it, Mark? I guess, but because uh, you got a moron for a governor, <laughs> that's, that's a given. But my life, I I like triple vaxxed. I go out and do my thing, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Well, in Texas, you don't know because Texas hasn't reported any numbers since last Thursday. Oh boy. <laughs> So we probably had a hundred thousand cases, but nobody knows. Why don't they report it? It's just I have no idea. They just have it's it. Texas, Alex. Because it's, it's Texas, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I when I lived in Texas, I it's one of the few places, Houston, is one of the few places when I moved out, I felt bad about it. I really liked Houston and I really liked the friends I made down there. And I just don't understand what happened to that state. You know? I don't either, because when I moved here in 74, it was a very progressive state. Yes. Yes. They had Democratic governors. They were had. That's why I have such an incredible retirement package working for the state of Texas, because all that was put in play by the Democrats. And I'm sure the Republicans are trying to get rid of all of that now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened ever since George Bush. Yeah. This W was governor. Well, I mean, what happened where, well, you know, I, 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 I the thing that just is insane to me is that anything about this uh, 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 COVID had to become political. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, that's ridiculous. It's a matter of public safety, public health, and, and it shouldn't, it, we should do everything we can to keep ourselves healthy. If we hear that there's a call of flu going around, we give flu shots for it. And people line up to get the flu shots. How many here get their flu shot every year? I get it. You know, I, there was a time when I didn't, when I was younger and when I started getting it, I suddenly noticed I didn't get colds during the winter either, you know? So it was really good for me. But uh, yeah, this should have united the country. This should yeah. have united it like not. Well, this shouldn't have been a political Bad. issue ever, you know. Right. And and uh, it became one. And I uh, yes, uh, no, uh, <laughs> no, uh, Vernon Nunn. And I have one you. word. I have one one word for Charlie as to what happened to Texas. It's called gerrymandering. Yes, okay. that's exactly. Back when Texas was had the, had the Democrat governor and senators that were Democrats and that kind of thing, they had a fellow in Congress called Tom DeLay. And Tom DeLay oh, went yeah. over backwards yeah. to gerrymander that state into what it is today. Yeah, you're not going to believe this, Vernon. And, and I don't want to get into political stuff on this show. We don't we do, do that that much. But yeah. one of the nicest guests I've ever had on my show at Sirius XM was Tom DeLay. Really? Yeah, I really liked the guy. He was he was very uh, he was fun to talk to, and I I looked at him and I said, you know, I think your politics is crap. I said, but you're awfully nice. He says, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I well, couldn't I think about Phil Meyer. Phil Meyer is the nicest guy in the world, but we don't yeah, like the politics, politics or the shit. I'm I'm wondering who this is. It says iPad could very well be that from where we're going to have to run over here. Let's see if I I'm saying join. Uh, Somebody's wanting to get on now. It could be, yeah. no, it could be, be Shecky. Yeah. Could be Shecky. Be Shecky. But oh, it's, yeah. it's yeah, I'm, I'm having him join, but he's not joining. So maybe he's having problems. Maybe it has to bounce off the satellite to get down to the ship. <laughs> well, there is, there is Wi-Fi on the ship and there's crappy Wi-Fi on the ship. But if you pay an extra 10 bucks a day, you can get the non-crappy version. Here, here he comes. Here comes. Who is this? Is this Shecky? Wait a minute. Shecky, is that you? Let me see. Has he got his audio? I don't think he's going to help. He doesn't have his video on. No more. Uh, let's see here. Uh, my co-host asked to start video. Okay, let's see if he can start his video. He doesn't have, he has his audio up. Hello, are you there, Shecky? Are you there? Oh, oh well. 
I don't know. Well, every person, sign in, please. Yeah. (laughs) iPad 4. Yeah. 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 It it could be he's trying, but he's not, you know, he's, it's not connecting like he needs it to connect. Uh, That'd be fun to have him see him, see him lying there dying from COVID. Uh, I've never seen the man stand up. I don't even know if he can. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, he's very casual about it. Oh well, we lost him again. We lost him. So I guess I guess he's not going to be able to make it. But you know, that's the way it goes. Gosh, I love this. You know, the reason I do, I I've taken the week off. You know, we take the week off on Gavnet, but I just wanted to do this show because you're just great people, and I enjoy your company, and uh, um, and and it's uh, uh, nice to spend uh, Christmas with him. Here he comes yeah. again. There Let's goes. see. We'll just wait. We got time. <laughs> no, there he went. We lost him again. again. The, apparently, the Wi-Fi, the ten dollar a day Wi-Fi on the ship. <laughs> Isn't exactly worth the ten dollars a day on Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's very slow on a ship. Yeah, you would think they could do it faster. Actually, yeah. I mean, if they can have water slides yeah. and things like that, you'd think they could have Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, it's the, be- it's the best they can, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, listen. Always good talking to all you people. And we'll see you on. Uh, we'll see it um, uh, on uh, Friday. Friday, if well, was oh, Friday, yeah. Oh, Friday, yeah, Friday yeah. at eleven thirty. We'll do this and just uh, spend uh, New Year's with each other. You're going to join Happy us, Mark. You're going to try. Everybody. I'm going out to do the night sky shoot that I always do. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we'll see. Uh, nice seeing you here today, though. You're always a uh, wonderful to see you. Actually, see Edward you Berger, thank you so much. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the only thing he ever says. That's right, Mandy O'Brien, you minx. Thank you with your Christmas tree, you Jen. My last day of vacation. My vacation is officially over. I got to go back to work tomorrow. Ah. Mm. Len Lafrisco, thank you, thank you, Scott Boddicker, uh, Marjorie, uh, thank you very much. You uh, you're the other minx. <laughs> Uh, uh, you're uh, and uh, 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 Charlie Wallace, thank you, Mark Thorner, Steve Becker, Bender. What am I saying? I used to know a guy named <laughs> Steve Becker, Steve Bender, and of course, the wonderful and attractive Vernon Null. Everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And thank everybody for having joined us. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.